Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about the Gina diode. Gina diode is a PN junction diode with high doping concentrations. And the Gina diode was proposed by or invented by the Clarence Melvin Gina. Okay. So on the scientist's name, this diode is given as the Gina diode. So in this Gina diode, the doping concentration is very high and this Gina diode can be operated in the reverse vas condition. Okay. So here, if you observe the symbol of the Gina diode here, it consists of normal, it is looks like a normal PN junction diode. Instead of a, a straight line here, we are going to present a Z symbol. So Z indicates here Gina. So it consists of anode and cathode uh, here. It is the symbol of the Gina diode. Then how we can construct? We can construct the Gina diode like a normal PN junction diode, but the doping concentration is very high and because of that, the depletion region will be very less. Okay, here we have uh, mainly operate this Gina diode in reverse bias condition due to that two breakdowns will occur. So that is, uh, it may be uh, one breakdown is avalanche breakdown and another breakdown is Gina breakdown. Okay, so avalanche breakdown can be present in both uh, normal PN junction diode and Gina diode and but the Gina breakdown will occur only in the highly doped uh, diodes that is like uh, Gina diode. Okay, so here we already seen that in the previous discussion what is avalanche uh, breakdown and what is Gina breakdown. Avalanche breakdown is nothing but due to collisions and uh, Gina breakdown is nothing but uh, uh, due to the high intensity uh, electric field concentration in the depletion region that is less width depletion region because due to high, con uh, high doping concentration the width of the depletion region is very less so the intensity will be very high for that electric field so because of that if you get the Gina uh, breakdown that is called as Gina breakdown so here we have and the Gina breakdown will, up, will appear in only highly doped uh, materials highly doped PN junctions then it will obtain at a breakdown voltage of uh, less than 6 volts ok but avalanche breakdown is different it is obtained in normal PN junction diodes and the reverse breakdown voltage is it is greater than 6 volts ok so now we have we have the Gina diode character 6 ok so in this Gina diode character 6 uh, we have again for normal condition or normal PN junction diode we have forward bias and reverse bias here also I am representing the forward bias character 6 and the reverse bias character 6 here ok so in forward bias character 6 uh, the character 6 will be same as that of uh, normal PN junction diode. Okay, so the character six of forward bias uh, uh, Gina diode in forward bias condition is it is normal PN junction diode character six. Uh, if we consider that on x axis that is forward voltage and on y axis that is uh, uh, forward current and similarly negative of uh, uh, the x axis is we will take it as reverse voltage and reverse current on the negative y axis. So this gives the character 6 for us, the Gina diode character 6. And very importantly here, if we observe the reverse bias character 6 here, at this point uh, the junction breakdown will appear. Okay. So up to this point, uh, it is the normal PN junction diode uh, current uh, that is nothing but reverse saturation current. Okay. So at this point, suddenly the current will be sharply rises like this. So because of only one thing that is junction breakdown okay so in this one we have junction breakdown will appear at this point this is called as breakdown voltage or GNR breakdown voltage that is VZ GNR breakdown voltage so at this point the current will sharply rise uh, because of this GNR breakdown okay and the voltage at which uh, the breakdown will occur is called as what GNR breakdown voltage and it will be obtained for le very less voltages because, because if you increase the doping concentration so the it offers the Gina diode or Gina breakdown will offer uh, here less amount of breakdown voltage that's why here 
uh, in this GNR diode characteristics, uh, we are representing this VZ as what? The GNR breakdown voltage. Okay. So, and it will be obtained, and it will be obtained in GNR diode because of its high doping concentration at very less amount of voltage, that is reverse voltage. Okay. So, this is about the characteristics of uh, GNR diode. Okay. So, the forward bias characteristics are looks like the are uh, the same as that of normal forward uh, forward bias character 6 uh, uh, and in reverse bias we will get the breakdown voltage or here the breakdown will occur the current will sharply rises here okay due to the breakdown so here we i have divided this breakdown character 6 as three currents here okay so if you observe this one one uh, this is the reverse bias character 6 of the gina diode so in this one I have GNR knee current and GNR test current and GNR maximum current. Okay. So out of that, uh, up to this point, uh, up to this point, uh, the reverse bias voltage is, suppose if I consider this one as VR and this one is IR, that is the reverse bias character 6 of a, or breakdown character 6, that is nothing but reverse bias character 6 of uh, GNR diode. So here I can divide this character 6 into three ways, that is GNR knee current, GNR test current and GNR maximum current. Okay, so if I take up to this point uh, here, this current is that is the reverse current or reverse saturation current is very very less up to the knee knee point. So this is nothing but uh, we will consider as GNR knee current. So it looks like the knee. So that's why it is called as knee current. Okay, up to that point, uh, the reverse saturation current is very very less. Okay, so after this point, uh, what happened is the then the junction breakdown will be obtained. The current will rise sharply, and it is more current will be flows, and the final current what it reached uh, is reverse saturation current is reached is called as what GNR maximum current. Okay, as we increases further, so the breakdown will appears and suddenly the current will sharply rises and goes to the maximum current. So that current is called as what? GNR maximum current. And if you have here, if I consider this one as the VZ, VZ is nothing but GNR breakdown voltage. So if that point is reached, because it is the reverse bias axis, reverse bias voltage axis, after reaching the VZ, so the current will go sharply up to this point. So this current is called as what? GNR test current. That is nothing but the voltage, uh, the current at uh, uh, GNR breakdown voltage uh, is nothing but the GNR test current. So these are the classic, uh, these are the uh, divisions of uh, our reverse bias characteristics of the GNR diode. That is GNR knee current, GNR test current and GNR maximum current. So this is breakdown characteristics of a GNR diode. Okay. And if you observe, here I am not explaining uh, any uh, moment of holes and electrons and all those things because it is same as that of uh, the normal PN junction diode operation. But only the difference is the doping concentration and the reverse breakdown that will appear. Okay, so that is the point. In normal PN junction diode, if the breakdown will appear means uh, the junction will break down. But here it is not the case here. So the Gina diode can be operated in only the reverse bias condition and the junction breakdown or the Gina diode we can also say that it can be operated in only the breakdown region. So that's why we are dealing with here the reverse bias character 6 only. Okay. So this is about the breakdown character 6 of a Gina diode. Okay. So once again here I am telling that the Gina diode can be operated in reverse breakdown region only. Okay, that is in reverse bias condition. So this is what about the character 6. And next uh, we will go with the equivalent circuit of Gina diode. So generally uh, if you take a PN junction diode, it can be operated in uh, operated as on switch and at the same time off switch. Okay, so here also we have for the Gina diode two states. What is the states? On state of the Gina diode and off state of the Gina diode. So then what is the on state of Gina diode and what is its equivalent circuit we can replace and at the same time what is the off state of Gina diode and what is the equivalent circuit we can replace we will see here. So if I consider on state. So if I consider Vz is the 
G naught breakdown voltage of the G naught diode. Okay, that is given in the manufacturer specifications. Okay, so here we have Vz that is what the G naught voltage, G naught breakdown voltage that is present across the G naught diode. Okay, so here it is connected. If you observe, this is a PN junction, right? So it is a PN junction with high doping concentrations. And if you observe this one, negative is connected to the anode. So this one is anode and this one is cathode here. So the negative terminal is connected to the anode and positive terminal is connected to the cathode. So what is this condition? It is in present in reverse bias condition. Okay. So here the voltage, the DC voltage that is connected, negative terminal is connected to the anode and positive terminal is connected to the cathode. In normal PN junction also, the same uh, concept or same point we can consider is as reverse bias. Okay. So therefore, this is nothing but the Gina diode is operated or connected in reverse bias condition. Okay. So therefore, here we have a Vz is there. So here when we will consider this Gina diode, we will consider as on state means if the applied voltage or the battery voltage V is greater than or equal to the G0 breakdown voltage, then that is called as. So here the name itself it indicates Vz is nothing but G0 breakdown voltage. That means what at that point or the greater values of that Vz, okay, greater than Vz, uh, there will be a breakdown will occur. So the current will uh, sh shortly increases, right? So here, therefore, if applied voltage V, applied reverse bias voltage V is very greater than or greater than or equal to the junction breakdown voltage, so then that point uh, at that point. Uh, the Gina diode can be considered as a on state. So what is the condition here? The applied voltage is greater than or equal to the junction breakdown voltage of Gina diode. Then that state is called as what? On state. At that point only, at that condition only, the current will increase sharply. Okay. More amount of current flows through the uh, junction or the Gina diode. Okay, so if you on the switch, the current will flows. Generally, we will consider. So here also, if this condition is reached through this Gina diode, so there is more amount of current will flows. That is nothing but the Gina current. I am indicating that one as with the IZ. Okay, IZ is what here? The Gina current after breakdown that will be obtained. So for this condition, there is more amount of current is flowing. So we can consider as that state is on state of a G0 diode. Okay, so here we have what I am uh, representing uh, like uh, uh, what we have seen for a PN junction diode now equivalent circuits. Okay, so similarly here we have the equivalent circuit for this G0 diode. So that is nothing but we will replace uh, when the G0 diode is on condition. So there will be a constant voltage that will be maintained across the Gina diode that is nothing but Vz and more amount of current will flows here. So that is what uh, on state of uh, our Gina diode. Okay, here we are making constant that is Vz is the voltage across the Gina diode is constant. That's why here we will replace this Vz that is Gina diode with a battery. Okay, with a normal battery that consists of voltage Vz. Okay, so this is the equivalent circuit of on state condition of the G0 diode. So you can observe here this G0 diode is replaced with the battery of voltage across it is Vz. Okay, here Vz is the G0 breakdown voltage. Now we will go with the off state. Okay, when we call off state means generally for a normal switch, when the switch is off condition then there is no current will flows. Okay, when the switch is on condition, the current will flows and whatever the device that is connected that will be operate like fan, switch and all the fan and light and all those things will be work because if you on the switch, the current will flows and the devices will on. Okay, so devices will work. So that's why it is called on state, more amount of current will flows. If you consider to the off state here, if what is the condition for off state? If the applied voltage is in between, in between the zero and uh, the Vz, Vz is nothing but the Gina breakdown voltage. Okay, so it is nothing but if the applied voltage V is greater than zero and less than the junction breakdown voltage, 
then that state of uh, our gina diode is nothing but nothing but what the off state so if we consider this condition here you can observe v is greater than v is greater than 0 v is greater than 0 and v is less than vz so by we can write this condition as two ways that is v is greater than 0 and v is less than vz so in this condition the diode cannot uh, operate that means the breakdown process cannot be occur across the gina diode so at that point uh, we will consider as it is nothing but a reverse bias condition so here we will consider there is no current will flows whenever this condition is obtained okay so that's why there is no current means it is a open circuit so I will replace in the equivalent circuit of this, I will replace this Gina diode with an open circuit condition and the current Ij is equal to 0. So this is what here on state and off state of a Gina diode. Gina diode uh, have different applications. Okay. So out of that the very important application is Gina diode can be used as a voltage regulator. Okay. And the next one is the Gina diode can be used as a waveform clipper. So here if you observe this one is the diagram. So here I have this is the input waveform and the output we will get is the clipped part of uh, clipped part means up to this point this will be clipped off and the voltage we will get is Vz here and in the negative side also we will get the minus Vz. Okay. So this is the input if it is suppose it is a sinusoidal wave and we will get here the output as clipped version of this sinusoidal wave. So here if you consider two Gina diodes, that is Z1 and Z2, uh, that is connected in uh, back to back, that is in reverse condition. So we will get uh, the clipper portion here and here. So this can be another application of the Gina diode. That is Gina diode can be used as a waveform clipper. Next one is it can be used as a voltage shifter. Okay. So it's, it is nothing but uh, the PN junction diode has different applications. Like that here also, PN junction diode also can be used as a waveform clipper. Similarly, voltage shifter. So the same application we can have by using the Gina diode. So here we have the two applications that is waveform clipper and the voltage shifter. And and another important is because here we are uh, using as a voltage regulator, so we can uh, limit the any spikes uh, that will uh, that is coming, that is any variations that is coming uh, from the uh, uh, external voltages so we can uh, protect our device from these uh, uh, surge protectors so in these surge protectors we are uh, going uh, going to use the gina diode okay so these are the four important applications of our gina diode out of that it is very important application that is gina diode can be used as a voltage regulator okay so this is very important application okay so these are the applications of Gina diode. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Subscribe our channel.